What was up with women in Pittsburgh? That's what I'd like to know. This is Christina with the Sisyphean Journal, and today is January 28th. I stumbled across some records of abortion deaths in early 20th century Pittsburgh, and alas, I did not have a cell phone camera at the time, so I don't have my original source documents, and thanks to COVID-19, the archives are closed, I can't go back, but I did get information about abortion deaths that were researched by the coroner's office. One of them was the January 28, 1918 death of 27-year-old Annabelle. She was a homemaker who died at West Penn Hospital in Allegheny County. The autopsy concluded that she had performed a self-induced abortion using slippery elm bark. She had told her husband Albert about the abortion, but denied ever having been ill to anybody until she was admitted to the hospital. And yeah, if you follow the channel, you know that I cover a lot of Chicago abortion deaths because of the Homicide in Chicago Interactive Database. And there it's doctors and midwives and doctors and midwives and doctors and midwives and doctors and midwives and occasionally a non-medical person. Um, and there's a lot of newspaper archives that I check and I find the occasional self-induced abortion but really, I'm not finding what I found in Pittsburgh, which seemed to be slippery elm, was a rather popular abortifacient. Um, comment below. Tell me. Um, I, I, this, fasc this fascinates me, the idea that, that there's this geographic specificity, and it kind of shows that... Um, there's, there's clusters of women who, you know, get advice from each other and I guess do what their friends did. And now that I'm thinking about it, I've often recommended Nancy Howell Lee's excellent book, The Search for an Abortionist. And she interviewed women who sought out abortions prior to legalization. And she found that really the biggest common factor in women seeking abortions versus women deciding to carry to term was the woman's perception of what her peers would do in her situation. And I think that's why in Pittsburgh we were winding up with this slippery elm thing, that it was just um, among women whose peer groups would um, abort rather than have the baby, the peer group seemed to do the slippery elm thing instead of go to doctors. Again, like I said, tell me. I'd love to know. <laughs> 